JN News will keep you informed. I'm Olivia Rodrigo, and in the news. Elaine Thompson Hera broke Florence Griffith Joyner's 33 year old Olympic record in the women's 100 meters, pointing at the scoreboard, even before crossing the line in 10.61 seconds Saturday, to defend her title and lead a Jamaican sweep of the medals. Griffith Joyner set the old record of 10.62 at the 1988 Seoul Olympics. The time was just 0.12 seconds short of the all time women's 100 meters record also set by Griffith Joyner. Thompson Hera beat her top rival, Shelly Ann Fraser Price, by 0.13 seconds. Sharika Jackson, who moved to the shorter sprints for the Tokyo Olympics, won bronze in 10.76. This had been shaping up as a fast race for days, if not months. In June, Fraser Price ran the fourth fastest time in history at 10.63 seconds. And when the sprinters arrived in Japan, they discovered a fast track at Olympic Stadium. In the semifinals earlier Saturday, the Jamaicans all cracked 10.8 to get on the list of the 10 best times in Olympic history. Then, it was Thompson Harris' turn to make history. Flo Joe's records are older than virtually every sprinter in the women's game, save Fraser Price, who was born about 18 months before the Americans set the marks. Griffith Joyner's world record, the 10.49, is still out there, and no other woman has ever broke 10.6. Fraser Price came in thinking it could be her, and when she crossed the line in second, she flashed a look of disbelief, then stood stone-faced with her hands on her hips looking at the scoreboard. Thompson Hera, who is now the second fastest woman in history with a 10.61 seconds, was looking left toward the clock as she approached the line. She was pointing, even before she got there, conjuring memories of Jamaican great Usain Bolt, who celebrated with 10 meters to go when he broke the men's world record in Beijing at the 2008 Games. I've been struggling with my injury back and forth," she told BBC Sport. I see all the bad comments, and for me to stay focused, hold my composure, I take all of my losses, all of my defeats and I use them as my motivation." Fraser Price said. It wasn't the best 30 meters because I had a stumble at about the third step, and I never recovered from it. Nevertheless I am grateful to be able to come out here and represent what God has given me. I am excited because, as a mother, and at my fourth Olympics, to be able to stand again on the podium is just a tremendous honor. I am hoping wherever in the world, mothers, athletes, females, we understand that there is so much more we can achieve. It is crazy, but you know my emotions are still very raw right now. I am sure I will go home, and there will be some tears. I have been through this many many times, so I am just really excited about what I have been able to do tonight. Mario Zay Talu of the Ivory Coast, one of five athletes, to clock a time below 10.8 seconds this year heading into the Games, finished just outside the medal positions with 10.91 seconds. Swiss pair Ajla Del Ponte and Mujinga Kambungi finished fifth and sixth, while the United States' Tina Daniels was seventh, and Daryl Nita eighth. Nita's British teammate Dina Asher Smith, who took silver at the 2019 IF World Athletics Championships in Doha, did not qualify from her semi final and then withdrew from the 200 meters, in which she is world champion, as she recovers from a hamstring tear. Thompson Hera will now attempt to complete a second Olympic double, with Fraser Price, Jackson, Talu, and Kambungi among the athletes all set to join her in a return to the track for the 200 meters heats on Sunday night Jamaica time. JN will keep you informed, please remember to like share and leave a comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive our daily news.